This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Wompster's Manure System. Now this is quite a complex mod that has lots of pieces, lots of parts, and a fair number of prerequisites or requirements. So before we get into how to use the manure system, and before we really explain what the manure system is, I want to talk to you about the prereqs, the components, and the requirements. So if we jump over to the in-game, not the in-game mod hub, but if we jump over to the website mod hub, okay, so here is a giant mod hub on the website. You see we have the Wompster manure system. Then we also have the manure system lagoon the stall camp pump and the zoom hammer tripod hopper all four of these items are going to be demonstrated today these are all part of the manure system in general now the zoom hammer tripod hopper is also going to require the tractor triangle pack in order to move it around you're going to need to make sure you get this uh, regretfully this mod does not list the tripod hopper here in the required section it just makes a mention to it here so make sure you get the tractor triangle pack and in addition to these four mods uh, there are a few mods that you could get that are already compliant to use with the system you could have the homer terra variant dlc this will work with the manure pack from the get-go or you could get the um, Fieldmaster 20 mod uh, this will work with the manure system from the get-go now if you click on the manure system here it's going to take you to this page right here and down here there is a link to the manual on the github I highly recommend it. you don't only just watch this video you take a look at this manual you bookmark this and you come back to it if you ever have any questions. Uh, this is fairly detailed. Uh, I'm going to kind of demonstrate a lot of the things that are kind of outlined here in this document. Uh, but this document should be referenced from all kinds of times. Um, so we have, for example, we can pump from or to vehicle to vehicle. We can pump from or to storage. We have dynamic pumping sounds. We have pump efficiency impacts depending on hose length, manure thickness, etc. Uh, we have pump directions in out. We have we can toggle the manure flow. We have basically we can set different valves open and close. We can extend hoses. We have all kinds of various things going on here. And it's a little complex to use. I've been kind of a little frustrated with the use of this in trying to figure it out because it didn't really seem like there was a lot of consistency. Some things worked one way, some things worked a little bit different. And honestly, I think what you need to do is figure out what works for you. And once you figure that out, that's how you need to use it. Uh, if you start throwing in a whole bunch of different pieces of equipment, uh, then you might get just frustrated because things are going to behave a little bit different based on on various things. And we're going to try to demonstrate some of those inconsistencies and variations here in this video. So we have the pump that we can use. The show, video, video shows you how we use the pump. We have the fill arm, how to use that, how to use dock arm. And then down here, this is a very important table to reference. Uh, this is going to tell you everything that is going to work out of the box. So anything that does not have a link is going to be an in-game element. And it's going to basically give you the make a model. And then basically what it supports. It's going to be very important that you be aware of what's supported, what isn't supported, and how 
certain things are supported. And then if you are a modder, there's information here on how to customize your placeable in order to work with the manure system or how to customize your vehicle or implement to work with the manure system right here. So we're not going to go into that level of detail with this video. It's not about how to make your stuff work with the manure system. It is about how to use the manure system. Let's take a look at this stuff here in the shop. So if we go here to tools and if we go to crop protection, we have a fertilizer hose, $300 for the fertilizer hose, change the color of the fertilizer hose. That's going to be under tools, crop protection. And this is what's going to allow you to fill, obviously, fertilized sprayers with liquid, either herbicide or liquid fertilizer. Go to slurry tanks. Then we have the slurry hose. Slurry hose is shorter. I have the ability to change colors on those also. And we have a standard hose or an extension. Notice the only difference is one end changes when we have the extension going to be very important to realize and understand am I working with an extension or am I working with a standard hose in addition we have the stall camp pump 80 horsepower requirement must be attached to a tractor to work then we have the tripod hopper and then you can see this is the triangle pack quick disconnect quick connect now you move that around. And then let's see here. The, the triangle hopper, the triangle frame is going to be here under weights. You need the tractor triangle in order to move the hopper around. And other than that, you're going to need various slurry tank equipment to obviously fill. So let's take a look at this stuff. So here we have some hoses. So we have, for example, this is a standard hose. The way we do that is we just walk up to it, we click on it. Okay. And we know it's a standard hose because... Oh, come on. Because both ends basically are cups. how I'll call it. Both ends look like this. Okay, so that's a standard hose. This is an extension hose. We have one side that looks like a cup, and then the other side that basically is a receiver for that cup. What's important about knowing that is if we take this extension, and we go over here and we try to connect it to this, okay, you take a look at the F1 menu, we don't get any information popping up saying we can connect to it. We take it we take a standard hose okay we see right click attach hose click on that one left click right click attach hose and now these two are connected now we can connect extensions to regular hoses we want to grab the regular hose in get it close to the extension right click and it jumps in okay Let's disconnect that. Left click to disconnect. Now if we take the extension, okay, now we have the extension. If we bring it up close to the standard hose, we don't get the connect option. We have to be on the standard hose to get the attach option. Here we have a standard hose end. Bring the standard hose end over here. Right click and attach. And I have a standard hose end over here. But now I can attach it to something. 
I'm just going to extend this hose out a little bit. Give us a little longer range. Again, I've got to click on the standard hose end to attach those. So once we have basically our pump hooked up, this is the Slurry Lagoon. Let me show you where that is in the store. It's under silos for the Slurry Lagoon, $125,000. Put it in place. Now, when I placed this earlier, I had an interesting, I had to basically level the ground around it. It looks like we've got that, might have that issue over here. No, it seemed to be placed properly this time. What the slurry lagoon looks like empty. And down in here, we have a fill pipe. Fill an empty pipe. This is where the slurry is going to be sucked up or spewed out. And we're filling the lagoon. And this blue thing with a uh, impeller on it, this is an aerator or a stirrer. That just kind of, I guess, flies up and down this pole and basically stirs the liquid. Now I had activated this stirrer say, um, earlier by kind of walking up here and hitting R. It's not coming up anymore. So I don't know if maybe you can only stir this once every so often. You can see we have a value now of slurry thickness also. Uh, maybe you can only stir it when it's the thickness gets to a particular level. I don't really know. I just saw R, so I hit it, see what it would do. And I didn't have enough product in here uh, at the time. So I saw the impeller spinning, but then they turned off. I don't know if they turned off because they detected they didn't have enough product or what. So what we're going to do is let's hook up to this. Our tractor. Lower our pump. Now, while we're connected to the pump, let's take a look at the F1 menu. We have Z, pump direction left to right. Okay, so basically that would say we're going to be taking material from what is to the left of the pump, over here where the hose is empty, to the right to the lagoon. We're going to be pumping in that direction from, let's say, a tank parked over here to our left uh, to the lagoon, which is on our right. If we hit Z, we're now going to pump from right to left, from the lagoon into something. Okay. Let's get... Let's get this tanker truck. And what we want to do is we want to basically pull this up so that this connector right there is in range of the hose. Okay. Now what we want to do is left click on this. Get it close to the attacher. Again. Part of the frustrations that I have with it is the hose links. All right, right click. Now we've attached. Now, if you notice, okay, we've got our hand on the hose. We have detach, and that's pretty much all the options we have. Now let's go over here to this one. This is also where we get a little bit of that inconsistency, in my opinion. So now I have my hand on this hose. I have an option to right-click and open manure flow. It opens the valve. I want to do that here on this one. I'm going to open the valve here. 
and on this one I want to open the valve also okay now I'm going to close this valve on purpose just to show you what happens if it's closed get back in the truck now if you see in the truck we have change pump direction empty the change pump direction filling okay so this is another confusing aspect it is opposite of what you read so if it says change direction to filling that means it's in empty mode if it says change direction to emptying it means it's in filling mode now if we hit R activate our pumper you see nothing happens that is because well for one because that one valve is closed and for two probably because we have a pump hooked up so we have to put our hand on the hose then we have to open that so now that's open that's open that one's open so now if I hit R okay, nothing is happening because I'm hooked up to this pump if I go in here and I turn this pump on R activate pump okay we can hear the pump running I come over here and look on the fill indicator you see the slurry is going into the tank see our fill level is going up down there in the lower right And if we come over here, we'll see that the slurry is going out of the tank. Got some interesting little animations where the pump, the hose is just kind of pulsating and such. Let's deactivate the pump. Now if I hit left to right, activate the pump now we are emptying the tanker back into the lagoon let's turn that off and let's do this let's close the manure flow let's disconnect the hose close the manure flow disconnect the hose Okay, close the flow, disconnect. Let's move our pump out of the way. And let's move our tank closer. That should work. go let's open our manure flow now can we pump directly yep so now I'm pumping directly from the tank into the truck you see our fill level is increasing going to turn that off Let's go over here and disconnect this. Turn off our flow. Connect. I've also got the um, disable the little circle HUD, no HUD. So that can sometimes cause you a little bit of grief. I want to take this regular regular hose now. So if you recall that that uh, web page, the manual, and what's compatible and what's not, 
Well, it listed this truck as having a way of basically storing one hose. If you bring the hose up here, notice I've got the hose by the edge, by the end. I'm here at this tray, again at the end. Right click, and now it lays the hose into this little tray. And now we can move the uh, tanker around. And let's say we want to hook up to this little tanker. Okay, let's get lined up with our our fitting our fittings. Got a little short hose, so we can't be too far away. And what we do is we come up here to the hose, we put our hand on it, we left click to detach it, and it does this little jumping thing, at least on this truck. Eventually it'll fly loose. While we're waiting on that to settle down. I don't really know why it's doing that. Grab it at least. got another hose over here. Just use this hose. So it's another kind of a wonky element of this mod. Pretty cool mod, but it can be a little frustrating at times. We're going to see this appears to have one of those valve handles so when I put the cursor on it I don't have the open open manure flow same with this I don't have the open manure flow if we go here to our tanker we can activate the pump and again change direction to emptying or filling so if it says emptying, when we activate the pump, we will fill. And I'm filling from the semi to our mixer here. Not our mixer, but our spreader. If I switch it to change pump direction to filling, remember it's the opposite. Now I'm emptying back into the tanker. Okay. Now, if the engine is off. We can't pump. I'm in here. I can pull product out, or I can empty product into it. So whatever you're pumping from needs to be on. It's something else to be aware of. Right now we are emptying our semi into our spreader. Turn that off. Disconnect this hose. The hose isn't flying around. I wonder where it went. This tanker also has a, a, a hose storage location. Right there. And if you detach, it just drops down. Well, that one behaves a little bit better. Let's go over here and check out this thing.
We want to attach. Goes there. Want to attach our hose. There. And this is the Samson EG2. So on tankers where you have this type of an arm, what you can do is you can position it. So you look at the F1 menu here. Okay, it's going to change when we get this close to this boot. Okay, now we're in the boot. And now we can activate the slurry pump on the tanker. And now we are pulling slurry out of our pit into our tanker here. We change direction, we can put it back okay but if we're not we've got to be pretty close on that boot before we get the R option now we can fill it And the engine needs to be on to fill it. I want to show you this zoom hammer here. Because it looks like it's got one of those, those um, sucker hoses, if you will. That is just visual. Okay. I have to actually hook this one up to a hose. Put our hoses back together. Then we need to get the standard hose attached to the extension. Standard hose to attach here come into here and we can hit our fill oh wait those is detached okay remember we have to turn our manure flow on we don't have a turn on manure flow here and now we can activate the pump if you don't get the activate pump message, then very likely you have something basically impeding your ability to pump. The hoses aren't all hooked up. The valves aren't open. Let's take a look at this Samson PG2. 25. This is a bigger tanker. This tanker has hose connections. That one right there. Uh, might have another one on the side over here. This one only has one hose connection. So we can obviously hook it up to a hose if we wanted to. But this one has this cool little thing that we need to we can now make use of. So you notice we don't have the pump option. We don't have R. We have to bury this into the product. Okay. Now we have the activate pump. Now we are sucking product out of this container. You see the fill level going down. If this gets raised up out of the fill level. I guess it still fills. It's 
too far out of the fill level, then it doesn't work. And this one, left left mouse button up and down, left and right, right mouse right mouse button left and right, pins and retracts this up and down. Okay, and we can do the same thing. We can change the pump direction, and then we can. back in. See the fill level now is increasing. Okay. Just, just want to demonstrate one more thing. Here with the liquid manure aspect, and this is the Fieldmaster mod. Fieldmaster mod has two pump hookups on this side, two pump hookups on this side. These are red. These are blue. Whatever. whatever. But uh, what's important about this one is. We have another one of those arms, okay? And what I can do is with this product, I get close to this boot, and now I can R, I can fill this through this hose, plugged into that boot. See the fill level going down as we're putting, putting product into our tank. That in the way. Now I'm just going to move, ram this out of the way. Oh, well, there's our hose. Pass it there. Pass it there. Always check to see if you have this manure flow thing. Like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And now we can fill it from the tanker like this also. We have various options there. Alright, now let's jump down here to the shop. And I want to show you some of the liquid fertilizer goings on. So we've got a pallet of liquid fertilizer here. We've got a couple of the fertilizer hoses. They do look a bit different. They have different ends on them. There are no fertilizer extensions. Can't connect these hoses together at all. So basically you have this length and that's all you've got. Got a couple of fertilizer sprayers here. Pretty much any of the in-game fertilizer sprayers are going to work for this. Of course, with the in-game options, you pull up here next to this and you hit R to fill. That's not going to work. Not with this mod. Let's grab this hose. And we need to find the hose attachment on the sprayer. So that can sometimes be a bit of an adventure. Found this one is there. And then we want to attach the hose to the pallet. And then we basically activate pump of sprayer. And now we are filling our sprayer with product from our pallet. I can 
also then empty that. this problem with this sprayer and this hose getting stuck before. And a little bit of the wonkiness of the whole thing. To demonstrate the Hardy sprayer, just so you knew where the sprayer pump nozzle is. Right there is one of them. This one has two. There's one there, and there's one there. You see the yellow handles. So again, it's kind of like figure out where the stuff connects on the equipment you use, and then you're good to go. But if you don't know where your stuff is going to connect, then it can be a little frustrating. Also remember you have to have your engine on in order to fill. Connect this to our pallet. Connect this to our sprayer. So, then we can activate the pump, and now we're filling our sprayer, once again, from the pallet. Now, something I noticed is, look at that, a little bit of a bug, maybe. What I wanted to demonstrate was that these hoses break away. So, if you are connected and you accidentally drive away, the hoses will disconnect. Okay. Drive away. And they just disconnect. Same holds for the uh, hoses up at the, um, the manure area that we were demonstrating. Now, for whatever reason, the in game Joskins trailer here. While it has a connection in the back, and while the liquid hose connects, it doesn't let you, um, there isn't a pump function. But I think what would happen is if you used, we're not going to, can't try every single option here. But I think if we used this pump, Okay, we could connect the hose to the water tanker and a hose to the pump here and then take a hose from the other side of the pump and drop it in a water trigger and then we should be able to pump water possibly into this tank. I think the reason you can't pump water into this tank right now is because, well, this tank doesn't have a pump associated with it. It's just a tank with a ball valve on it, filling and emptying. So that's something else to think about is sometimes you just need to use a little bit of logic in how would this possibly work in real life. Think about it a little bit and then uh, give it a try and see if it works that way. If you have a modded uh, slurry tanker, it's not going to work right away. You 
will have to either follow the directions on Wopster's website, on his GitHub site, on how to modify your mod to do that, or wait for the mod author to basically make their mod work with the manure system. Uh, any of your in-game animal placeables are going to work that do manure right now. So those are going to be limited to the cows and the pigs. They will work as I demonstrated those. Uh, so there you go, guys. That is the manure system by Wopster. I say just get it, play around with it a little bit. It might be a little bit of frustration at the start, but uh, slowly, once you kind of get the grasp of, of what's going on, then I think you're going to get it and you're going to enjoy it uh, if you are a player that looks for that extra level of realism. Let me know in the comments. Has this video helped you understand the manure system mod? Is it something you're going to give it a try and see how you like it? And until next time, happy farming. Please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.